This video is going to get your DJI Osmo Pocket free audio from sounding like this, which is not very good, to sounding like this, which is pretty good. So on our most recent vlog, that was the first time we've ever uploaded without putting music on, without putting sound effects in. Everything was either this microphone or that microphone. It was more of an editing challenge for myself in all our vlogs previous. Not that it's a bad thing, but we've been using music as a bit of a crutch. Film talking, and then music, music, cut, cut, cut. The audio is so good from this setup though, that it just makes sense to like lean into the natural audio more. These are the best bakeries in Cyprus, by the way. And these are the best things in Cyprus. Since we've owned this camera, we've learned quite a few things because it doesn't come out of the box with the best audio. So that's exactly what we're gonna share, how to take it from the box to getting the best audio from the settings in the camera, the microphone, and even the edit. Now, I'm gonna assume you bought the Creator Combo with this microphone. Let's talk about this little microphone because I absolutely love it. It's got three buttons on it and we're gonna go through each one. So this one right here is my favorite because even with the camera powered off, you can still record audio internally to the microphone. You get a decent amount of memory as well. And you can just collect all your scratch audio. So say you wanted to record the sound of a river or some birds, whatever, you can do that. Now these two buttons offer nifty little features beside pairing and powering up. The top button that looks like the pairing button, click that, you can actually stop start recording, which is really useful because you can place the camera down, start recording, and then stop recording when you're done. The power on button has a really cool little feature. And when I press that, even with these windows open and the kids, and an absolute mad one today, you probably heard that, is noise reduction. Now you can do noise reduction in post, and it's probably the preferred way, but when you vlog in, you don't have the time to go into every little clip. So being able to just press a button and get rid of all the noise is great. Now, straight out of the mic, when you click the noise reduction, it's not great. Now that's when you can apply these EQ settings that we're gonna talk about later to bring back a bit of life to the audio. Right, Arthur, I got a special job for you. Can you hold the camera and point it at Daddy? Make sure you hold it good. C good? Okay, one of the biggest complaints with this thing when it came out, we noticed it straight away as well, was the audio sounded really muffled. It didn't take much research or YouTubers to notice that the low cut filter was switched on out of the box. So all you need to do is swipe down from the top go to your microphone settings and turn that low cut filter on. And I guarantee you'll already be happier with the audio coming from this microphone. So whilst we're talking about settings, we may as well dive into the other menus and talk through all those settings as well. Let's get straight into some menus. We'll make this quick, don't worry. We swipe down from the top, hit the settings icon, and then we've actually got a whole bunch of settings for the microphone here. So you've got battery life and the storage left on your mic. If you swipe down, you've got audio to video sync. Turn that on, turn low cut off and 32-bit float recording on. But just bear in mind that that 32-bit saves to the microphone, not the video file. So if you want that and you need it, you've got to pull it off the mic. If we swipe from the right, you can click the microphone again. And notice mine's set at plus two. We'll come back to that. I can't wear me. Yum, 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 yum. No, mine. Uh-huh. Sure. Ooh. It got dark whilst we were in there. So that gain option is actually really important because I thought when we bought this, I was almost a bit concerned that we're buying a directional microphone that's clipped to me. I didn't think it would be able to hear my lovely assistant, Demi. But obviously it can hear my lovely voice. <laughs> cool. Okay, 
let's jump straight in and talk about post-processing. Now, this isn't me being a genius. That belongs to this guy. So thank you for sharing your video. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so this is our edit. Ignore this layer. This is just so that we can do play back later and listen to them both. So we're gonna go to our effects panel. And the first thing we're gonna load in is a parametric equalizer. And we're just gonna drag that onto there. Next up, we're gonna add a single band compressor, hard limiter, bass, and of course, treble. So we've loaded our effects on. Let's start with a parametric equalizer. We're gonna go to edit. We're gonna go to the drop down. Vocal Enhancer 96 Width. Done. Then we're going to go to the Single Band Compressor and select VoiceOver Hard Limiter. Limit to minus one decibel. And then Bass, you can adjust this to your liking. We're going to go five and then 2.2. So that's now done. So let's listen to this clip. And then if we flip back to the original, so that's actually a bigger difference than the last time I tried it. I'm gonna play that through one more time. If this video has been useful to you, please consider commenting down below. It means a lot. And if you wanna see more of our family doing what we enjoy, which is hiking, traveling, getting outdoors, camping, then please consider subscribing to watch more than us just going for a shop. <laughs> there is also one other thing that I wanted to mention because obviously doing that for every video clip would be horrendous. So what you can do is select your effects, click our equalizer, single band, hard limiter, bass, treble. And then if you right click, save preset and call it DJI audio, that will then go to wherever your presets save. Again, you can see I called it DJI Audio. And then all I have to do then is just drag and drop. I hope you enjoyed that video. I know it's a bit camera-y, a bit techy. It's to do with our family vlogs because this is how we are creating the audio that you hear. If you want to watch one of our proper vlogs, you can watch this video here, which is that vlog we were talking about at the start with just the audio from this setup. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.